Aquarius, welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is your April 2021 tarot reading. Please bear in mind that it's a general reading. It's not a personal reading, so take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. If this general reading doesn't resonate for you, then check out your moon, Venus and rising signs in some of my other readings. If you would like a more detailed reading, or would like to know what the outcome of this situation is then you could purchase a personal reading from me so i'm going to jump straight into it and first card out for you is the emperor so you're coming out straight away in your own reading aries because this air the emperor is your card and it's aries energy so yeah that's your energy then we have the Seven of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. The Three of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. The Five of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I think I'm going to leave it there for a minute. So, yeah definitely i i feel here with the emperor um i i definitely feel that you are taking action really decisive action taking control of a situation um i feel that you're taking some really decisive action here um I think based on your situation, um, I feel that you're being trying to be very strong in this situation, trying to really hold on to your emotions, trying to control them, try holding back, you know, not and not showing um, any or not showing too much emotion because you don't want that to. You don't, perhaps you don't want to give someone the satisfaction. Um, definitely trying to, I feel, take control of a situation here. And I feel that there is a re big reason why. Because, I mean, this remember the roles can be reversed. It's either you or the other person. There is deception going on. Um, I feel that you're finding this out. That someone's been doing things behind your back, being, has been lying to you, cheating. Um, generally, just being very deceptive behind your back. It could be any form of cheating, stealing, lying, backstabbing. I think for some of you, it's, it is a betrayal of the heart. I feel that some of you may find out that there's a third party situation involved and that's why you're taking control of the situation you're taking decisive action um because your heart is broken here i feel that you're being very trying to be very strong hiding your emotions not not you haven't got an outpour of emotion you're trying to perhaps be perhaps you're trying too hard you know like to hold it all in, to keep it all together. And then we've got the Five of Swords. So, yeah, there's, I feel that there's a lot of, or there is going to be a lot of arguing, arguments. I feel that you are going to exchange a lot of unpleasant words with the other person. Um, I feel a lot of that's going, going to get to a point I think where you're just going to walk away um but I feel that you know exactly what you're doing I, I kind of feel that you are perhaps doing it to get to the other person to affect the other person that has betrayed you let's get you out some more cards and find out a bit more about this situation yeah I, I do feel that you're very hurt, but you're hiding it. I feel that you're acting in anger at the moment. Yeah, you're going to be 
moving away from this whole situation um, you are going to be moving away with a lot of emotions holding on to a lot of emotion about this situation because I feel that you have yet to let go of that emotion to really to really have that, that outpouring of emotion you know to really have a good cry at the moment I feel that you're just trying everything you're just keeping it inside but even though you're moving away from this situation, it's still, it's still in you. It's still in you. I wanted to come out the page of wands. So yeah, this the page of wands can indicate um, a gesture of some sort, something coming towards you could also be about the action that you're taking um yeah like i said I, I feel that it's you taking action um in this situation i really do i think i feel it's just you taking that decisive action to move away to walk away i feel that there will be an outpouring of an emotion but it will be more to do with anger but in a very controlled way, I feel that a lot of your actions are very controlled, that you're really holding a lot of emotions in, really bottling up a lot of emotion here that you may need to release, yeah. This could be an ending of a marriage, it could be a marriage that's um, fallen apart here. This is Taurus energy, could be dealing with Taurus as well. So yeah, it could be a long-term commit committed relationship that you're walking away from it could be a marriage that's been destroyed by a cheating third party situation you've got the queen of wands come up here this can often be an indication of the third a third party the queen of wands um there for some of you there's definitely been a third party involved in this situation and that is the reason why this relationship uh, why you've ended this relationship basically but like i said you really are holding on to a lot of emotion here yeah the page of cups that actually came out in reverse so i will accept it so yeah the um page of cups that's that's come out in reverse and i i feel that any love Well, I, I feel there's a lot of emotional distress, put it that way. I feel that you are holding on to a lot of emotions. You're very distressed about this situation um, and maybe afraid to show your hand, seeing it as a sign of weakness, but it's kind of building up in you, I feel. Um it's going to be an emotional time for you, even though you're not, like I said, really showing that and acting um, as if you've got everything under control. But inside, I feel that you're crumbling apart, really. Uh, it can also be a sign that there could be an upsetting message. But I feel that the love, you know, it can indicate an affair. I feel that the love has been replaced with anger for you but you're bottling up a lot of emotion I feel yeah you're trying to <laughs> yeah you are really trying with all your might to come across as being in control and being strong being on top of things um but inside i think you're really struggling with all of this it's i feel it's it's like a like a pressure like the pressure's building up and it's got to it's got to come out in some way you've got to release it in some way but you're trying to hold on to trying to be strong in this situation 
that something has got to give, I think. Yeah. Perhaps you feel... Yeah, you're feeling really... Uh, yeah. There's a lot of... You feel isolated, I think, deep down, abandoned, left out in the cold. It could be the way also you're making the other person feel because of they they may perceive your reaction as being pretty cold in calculating the way you're responding to it. But I feel that you, they are the last person that can stand in judgment of you because they're the ones after all that are guilty of betraying you. Um, at the moment, yeah, they're very firmly and squarely out in the cold with you. There's a lot of anger there. I feel that deep down, you are, you do feel like isolated emotionally. I feel that you would like support and help. And maybe you're acting as if you're in it on your own. But there is like, there is hope. You know, there are people out there that can support you and help you through this. But you need to be able to open up to other people in order to get that help you're pretending to be strong but deep down inside you're not you're falling apart but yeah yeah you you're putting on this kind of strong kind of strong aura this this kind of like trying to act as if you're strong but yeah, you, you're definitely angry and you're not afraid to speak your truth and and tell this person what you think of them and take the action that you need to and it's going to be blunt. You can come across as quite standoffish but you have no um, problem with cutting out things and people that don't serve your greater good, that have, that have betrayed you um i feel that it's, the communication definitely is very difficult at the moment and and yeah i feel that perhaps you're acting out in anger and the words that the way you're expressing it is very icky it's very hurtful but you're being very disciplined about everything but they've hurt your feelings so you, you're feeling very hurt in this situation so naturally but I feel that the comments are hurtful on both sides. I don't feel it's just you. I feel that they are also being hurtful back to you. They've already broken your heart. Yeah. I've got justice here. You feel very... You feel very... Very badly treated by this person... Um, treated unfairly, unjustly, um, you know, you don't feel like this person's played fair with you, um, they betrayed you, they've done things beyond your back, and you want justice for yourself. You could be dealing with Libra, so yeah, Libra, it's, justice is all about getting that balance, getting a fair outcome for yourself, a peaceful resolution. In the end, I feel that you do want justice you want a peaceful outcome at the moment you're acting um on anger but yeah and if you want to find out what the outcome to this situation is then you can always purchase a personal reading from me in the meantime let's get you out some love oracles to wrap this up and find out what they can advise you also, I'm going to get you out a Moonology card as well. Got heartbroken. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving and mourning. Yeah, you are deeply hurt. You are very sad from this breakup, this separation. You're definitely grieving. You're in mourning. You feel very lost and very sad. You may not be expressing this openly and hiding this, but deep down, this is how you're really truly feeling by this whole situation then we've got sunglasses watching looking stalking gaslighting perception focusing out so yeah 
you could be you might be following this person spying on them stalking them but not in you know just just find out maybe a bit more about what's been going on and with who but yeah there's definitely a bit of watching going on definitely a bit of gaslighting i feel as well but i feel that a lot of the comments are on both bad comments are on both sides and then we've got separation here sadness missing you thinking about you yearning unsure of the future yeah you are sad about this separation and deep down i think you are really missing this person yearning for the happier times that you had with this person i don't think for some of you deep down you don't really want this this to be the case this separation you don't want this person to go but you are putting on a brave front like i said you were acting completely indifferent towards this person you are hiding your feelings um acting out of anger and i've got girl with a snake empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used enable and boundaries so yeah um there's a lot of them the emotions are really high high and raw at the moment i think between both of you uh, you may feel like you've been used and you definitely feel like they've crossed a boundary with you there's no doubt about it um and you need to be careful that you don't keep holding everything in you need to be able to release those emotions to express your emotions not hold bottle them up you know and release them in a healthy way uh, i think there's a definite need for you to do that so i'm going to get you out a moonology card bold and make the first move what do you need to release work through your fears yeah so you got be bold and make the first move what do you need to release i think you know what you need to release those pent-up emotions that anger that hurt your feeling you need to mourn this relationship properly and it says work through your fears so this fear of this separation well you know it's just a matter of taking time to heal to work through your emotions um in order to get through all of this i think um yeah so i'm going to look at what release what you need to release is about because i feel that that is definitely your card here so what do you need to release let's find out what it says about that card all right at the time of the waning cycle take a moment to look up into the sky every night you will see the moon growing smaller and smaller as she moves from full moon to new again it it's a time when things are falling away it's certainly not the time to cling on to anyone or anything during this card suggests your situation is in its autumn and winter phase so hunker down and start the regeneration progress and it's safe to let go and to move on this card saying to you move forward with as little resistance as possible and it may not be a time to start new projects so these are the additional meanings of this card and also releasing emotional baggage is recommended now so i think um that is definitely very good advice releasing emotional baggage 
baggage is what's recommended now. So it's safe for you to let go and to move on. So you've got to start the healing process, really. That's very important for you. So I'm going to leave it there. And I wish you all the best. Remember, you can request a personal reading from me if you want a more detailed reading. So I will see you all soon. Bye. Thank you.